Authorities in Nepal have enthroned a three-year-old girl as the main living goddess in a century-old ritual. Matani Shakya was chosen by a panel of judges in a competition that featured a number of two to four-year-old girls from the same impoverished caste. CJ Mukunda cites the practice as child abuse. He wants the human rights organizations to determinedly take up the cause of Kumaris in Nepal. This is Mukunda, citizen journalist from Nepal reporting on Instablogs. The human rights to take up the cause of the little serial Davis more determinedly. The Hindu and Buddhist priests have appointed three-year-old Matani Sakya to the position of living goddess. Matani was chosen by a panel of judges in a competition that featured a number of two to four-year-old girls from the same impoverished caste. She will live without her parents in an ancient temple in Kathmandu where she will become a tourist attraction until she reaches poverty and loses her divine status. The whole process, no doubt based upon fairly unique cultural background, is fraught with abuse. The child is taken away from the parents and then loses her privacy right to good schooling, play with peers and an independent future. Instead, Nepalis should start considering its young girl as a living goddess and try and bring some normalcy and happiness to the life of Nepali young girls. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let InstaBlogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com.